Hey everybody, welcome to News by Muse. We are here talking about 18 and a half, a brand new film that's coming out. And we're here with Willa Fitzgerald. You may recognize her from Reacher, one of my favorite shows on Amazon Prime Video. Oh, good, <laughs> and, uh, great. Gotta tell you, great season. Loved it. Thank you. Uh, but we're not here to talk about Reacher. We're here to talk about 18 and a half. Uh, <laughs> what a great film. I, I What was it about the script that you, you wanted to be a part of it? I mean, I love doing, um, I love, I love a, a very kind of condensed story and it's one that takes place over really just a, a day and um, in basically one location. And that's such a, a fun challenge. It, it feels a lot like theater, which is kind of my whole background. Yeah. And it, and the story was really interesting because about the 18 and a half minute gap in the Nixon tapes with the water. Yeah. Gap. And um, what was it like to explore and to go back in time and to be able to explore that? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of parallels um, between what was kind of going on in the 70s and what we've all been living through um, in in recent years politically. And I think that it's kind of a natural sort of um, interest in the past in order to understand our present. And I think that's why we're kind of seeing so much content about Watergate in general right now. And, um, and so it was fun to kind of think about um, in this story, all of the things that were most uh, relevant to the experience that it, that, you know, I was having um, with my own engagement with politics and, um, and looking at Connie as a character, you know, she's a, she's a person who worked at the white house who um, had a very specific set of political um, ideas that are then challenged by everything that's happening politically in her world and kind of having to come to terms with that shift in her own political ideology um, is, a, is a big life shift for her as a character. And it's, and there's some great funny moments in this, some great yeah. moments, especially. Uh, what was it like to be working with? I mean, what a great cast with uh, John McGregor. So Magaro, Richard Kind. What was it like to be a part of that ensemble? Oh, great. I, I mean, I most of my stuff is with John and John is just a, a treasure. I love working with him. He is so talented and we had a really, a really fun time, um, you know, building these characters and, and building their relationship. And um, that's the most fun part of my job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And the one thing I did want to talk about and what you brought up is like, the Broadway aspect of it because it is shot kind of like in a moment by moment type of way similar to like a, a play mm. so how how was that for, since you mentioned that st the stage is what you love in addition to film to, to be able to do an, a film like this and be able to have those aspects in it I mean, I think it just, it gives, uh, it gives you as an actor kind of more opportunity to really um, do your job in like a very pure way. I think that there's a few scenes, I think in the film that are, um, that are pretty much one shots, mm -hmm. um, just like, you know, oneers. And um, that's always a fun, that's always a fun experience as an actor because you really, uh, it, it really is just about the um, the connection between the two actors and and what their real time relationship is with each other um, through their characters, which is is great as an actor. That's what we love. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, obviously, a lot of film is found in the edit, mm -hmm. and so it's a it's a real it's a real gift when you kind of can just craft it from start to finish yourself as an actor. Yeah, and one thing I do want to ask you and be one of two questions that I have left is pretty much for you independent what do you prefer uh the big budget motion picture big budget television show or something like this like an independent that seems to for a lot of actors that I've interviewed love the independent film because it allows them to stretch their legs a lot more than what the others do what, what is it yeah yeah I mean I think there's value in, in everything and and there's a million reasons why you take a job or don't take a job and I think that um, I really often love to do um, independent film because it is just a little bit less precious. It's like a lot more freeing. There's not, you know, a huge budget attached to it that people are trying to justify. There's, 
just the desire to tell a story. And so it's kind of the most pure version of, of what we do as actors and storytellers. And, and that's a fun kind of palate cleanser, especially if you're doing, you know, a lot of jobs that are more kind of financially pressurized. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, uh, thank you so much for being a part of this. We love 18 and a half. Uh, oh, good. It's, it's going to do very well as it comes out May 27th across the country. So, uh, well, uh, thank you so much Perfect. again. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh.